what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you guys how to do sky replacement in blender so for this tutorial i'm using blender 2.9 which is the latest version i'm using okay so first thing i want to do now is to just load in our footage so we need to go to the vfs workspace so click on this plus sign go to vfs then choose motion tracking okay now we are in motion tracking so now we need to load in our footage for this i'm using image sequence just drag the image sequence into the folder then press a to select all then open clip okay now so first thing we do now is to track this footage but we are not tracking we are not doing 3d solving this time but we are doing point tracking so we track the two parts of this place we track here and here of this footage and i will track this place because it's visible throughout the shot that's why we track that place so when you are doing your own you have to select somewhere that is visible throughout the shot to track that okay now let me just refresh okay now let me track this so we just do our normal routine just click here to normalize change it from location to affine and also the keyframe to previous frame now come to clip display turn on search okay now when you just press ctrl and click you select this and you can resize this now you track just click on track and track forward okay now we have our two point tracks we track this and i track the other side so the next thing to do now is to reconstruct this so press a to select all the track with the both track click on reconstruction here then link empty to track click on that now if you check the 3d view we have and empty which represents where the tracker is all okay, right now let's go to layout now we have our track so we need to adjust our camera side everything okay just make sure the angle is correct all right so i like it like this so when you play this we have You have the tracker corresponding to the track so when you click on zero now we already have the tracker so we need to brought our sequence here so click on the camera now select the camera icon here now click on background image turn it on then add image now click on movie clip then select our sequence now when you check this track you see that it's also match we have a tracks that means our tracker is working perfect okay now the next thing to do is now to bring back our image which which i'm using this image okay now to bring it back and parent this track to it but we won't able to parent these two track to it so we need to create a bone for this first now to do this just press shift s now cursor to select it now click on this now press shift s then cursor to select it like this now press shift a come to amateur and select single bone all right now go to edit mode now drag this edge to the second part of the track like so all right okay that is done and we need to parent this track with the bone now click on the track then shift click on the track like so now press ctrl p then select parent to object now when you play this through you see that the track correspond to the object which is the bone but when you look at the other track here we have here you see that it's not being placed to it because we are not done anything to this yet okay now let's go back to this now click on the bone click here on the edit and come to post mode all right now click on the bone then you are in post mode now come to the modifier here now you see add bone constraint here this is it add bone constraint now click on the add bone constraint and select stretch to click on that now we have our other track here and select the second track 
now when you play this you see that the bone stretch to that and we have the location and the rotation of this so let me show you in the camera view now we have the location and rotation of it now we can parent this okay and to parent this we need to import our image as plane so press so before you do this let's first also put this cursor to the object first now click on the go back to object mode select the bone now press shift s then cursor to select it all right now press shift a now come to image now select image as plane all right now look for your image now import image as plane now we have a plane which is our image texture so when you go to render mode like this or preview you will see the image we are using so let's wait for this to look okay now you see the sky i'm using for this okay now we have to make this large because it's so small right now so press s to scale then make it very large like so okay now this has a texture and what's so good about the image as plain is that it set up our texture for us but with this i don't really need the image as texture so we need to go to shading okay now this is the texture and the material that was set up for us by the image as plain so we need we don't need it so we need to delete this shader then plug this direct all right now come back to layout Now this has no image. This has no texture or material on it. So it's only image. So we can drop down the render size to one. Now the sample is in one, so it will be clicked to render. So now when you play this, you see that the footage is not corresponding to the plane, which is the sky we just import right now. So we need to parent this. We need to paint the bone with the sky and to do this just click on the plane which is the sky click on the bone then select the plane now press ctrl p no click on the sky then select the bone click on the sky then shift and click on the bone now press ctrl p then come down you see bone just select to bone now when you play this wizard we have the location and also the rotation for this and this is the reason why we use bone constraint to this okay now when you play this just go to preview now you have the rotation and also the location for this now you need to be very patient and look at this very well so that you don't miss any part of the texture so i need to drag this down a little like so so this can be right in the middle okay now so when you render this now We have the image right here. Okay. Now let's come to composite. Click on use notes. All right. So let's drag this down a bit. So we have our render layer. Let me just set up my composite was with the way I want. So I'll drag this down. Change this. For that as well. so i will add a reroute node so press shift a come to layout then select reroute put that here so this you can now you can now use this to plug a viewer node. so to add a viewer node just press shift a go to output then select viewer put this here then drag this to the viewer now you can see our plane now this is sky we are using all right now i need to frame this so i want to make this the way i want just to set things up correctly okay. okay this is the output just set up all right now let's start compositing 
all right so the first thing we need now is our movie clip so press shift a go to input now select a movie clip put that here then click on it and select our movie clip now we need the half hour one to this to plug this together now press shift a go to color then select alpha one put that here then drag this down so it like so now we have our movie clip on top of our render layer which is the image and this is the render layer okay so the next thing to do now is to make sure we key out this sky because we want to add this on top of it and to do this we have several ways of keying in blender but i'm using the one that is the one precise for this and is the best for this type of job now press shift a come to distort math instead now select different key okay now put that here right now we need to plug this direct to the viewer just select it and plug it direct to the viewer all right now you see something that we already key out the white part of this which is the sky and the sky is already white already so we need to just tweak the color click on the color then drag this up because i don't want to kill some part of the floor here now increase the fall up and also the key just do it diligently because we don't want to lose part of the main scene let's drag this back a little okay I, I think this is really good and we just only need the alpha channel of this which is the white channel of this all right so the next thing to do now is to add this to here so when you plug this together now And drag this alpha channel to the factors of this alpha over now we have the sky and before we do that we need to also blow out some part of this just drag this from here direct to the down input of this image now we need to add a blow note to this just press shift a go to filter now select blow put this then change it to fast version now increase the factor of the blood to 5 then x and y value to 5 5 for now so when you look at this x and y value you see that we blow out this let me mute this so you see that everything is sharp right now and when i add the blow it's blow a little bit which is really nice and it makes the effect to blend more perfect as you can see that you see that this effect also blend with this and this is really nice so what you do now is just to plug the image direct to the input of this alpha over which is the down image to the alpha over and our render layer which is our which is our sky plug it to the top and the key plug it to the factor and that is all about this then we need to blend this to be more precise a little bit okay so guys what i will do here now is to do some color adjustment to this so the first node that we need to do the adjustment is the brightness and the constraint node. So press shift A, come to color, then select brightness and contrast. Now we need to increase the constraint to something like this, which is 4.9, which is very large, and drop down the brightness a little bit. Like so. Okay, the next node will be gamma so press shift a go to color and click on gamma drop that here then increase the gamma node to 1.4 like so it's too much so maybe 1.2 for this okay this is good and the last node will be color balance so press a come to color then select color balance node drop that in now the lift which is the which is the shadow we need to put this color to match the color of the sky so that it will blend so drag the lift output here a little just like so so when you look at this you see that this blend correctly let me see before and after so it blends 
correctly and this is how and the perfect way to do sky replacement in blender so the next thing you can do now is to export your footage and you are done thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video